back to Tartar News! Hey Tartars, welcome back to Tartar News. Where we cover all things Tor and Tie. It is Red Ribbon Week. This week is all about the importance of living a drug-free life. Did you know that addiction is a treatable disease and one person's addiction often impacts the lives of at least four other people? We will be doing makeup photos on Friday in the Little Theater. Please stop by at ASB at lunch today or before school tomorrow to make an appointment. There's an ongoing art contest that you can participate in called the Midnight Magic Art Contest. All forms of art are accepted such as drawings, paintings, photography, poetry, and more. Be sure to incorporate the theme in your submission and to fill out the Google form in the at Teach Us Fine Arts Instagram bio. Deadline is October 31st and you can turn it into Miss Hefflinger's Room B220 or DM your submission to at Teach Us Fine Arts on Instagram. First place will get a prize. Wrestling tryouts are this Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. in the wrestling room after school. Boys soccer final tryouts are on Monday at 3.30 Zamprini Stadium. Attention creative writers, it is almost November, which means it is National Novel Writing Month. Come to Miss Christian's room at A131 at Tutorial for more information. Also, Can Food Drive will run from November 1st to 15th. Be on the lookout for more information. All right. What's up, Tartars? We want to talk to you guys about next Tuesday at the Quad at Lunch. Janessa, what is happening at lunch on Tuesday? A Halloween costume contest. A Halloween costume contest. Guys, there are five different categories that you can participate in if you are dressed up, including scariest, funniest, most creative, best group, and best duo. Guys, if you participate and win in your category, you get a grand prize. Janessa, what do you get? A grand prize. A grand prize, but the dress code is still enforced. What can you not bring to school? No weapons allowed. No weapons allowed. Also, only half of your face can be covered in face paint, and any masks that you wear can only be worn during the contest. Hey guys, come to the quad this Friday during lunch to play head, shoulders, knees, and cups. There's a chance for you to win a prize. I'll see you guys there. In spirit of Red Ribbon Week, we asked Harders, what is the importance of staying drug-free? All right, I'm here with... Samantha. Porter Wade. And Janda and Weaver. Kyle. Faith. Chad Aaron. And what's the importance of staying drug free? The importance of staying drug free is uh, to stay healthy and live a long life. Staying drug free is important so that I can pursue my education, you know, and devote time to important things that I enjoy. Because cool. uh, drugs are bad. Uh, the importance of staying drug free is it's better for your mental health and your physical health. Right. Um, so. It doesn't affect like your grades and academics or even like your personal life. Uh, I think you stay healthy and like so you can keep playing sports. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching Tartar News.